Ms. Goldwasser, as the RSA Professor of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at the MIT, you're actively involved in the transfer of knowledge about relevant technologies to younger generations. Which potential do you see in the science match as a means of leading an open discourse about new insights and research? Yes, that's an excellent question. Um, I think it's very important for young people to realize that uh, there's a solutions to privacy and uh, security uh, challenges that we see in the world today. And um, the solutions really come from understanding mathematics and uh, theoretical computer science and understanding there are inventions out there that have to be reduced to technology. I think Science Match has an excellent um, potential to get the young people to understand that. One of the key questions which are relevant to the advancements of your fields of research um, of cryptography and complexity theory today. Hi, uh, excellent question. So in cryptography, the questions that we have, one of the most exciting questions is the problem of uh, program obfuscation. That is, how do you protect programs in such a way that you can give them out in an encrypted form so one can execute the program and still don't learn details of the inside of the program, which is very important for security. In complexity theory, uh, there's a lot of beautiful problems about both how do you find problems which are hard on the average, which is key for cryptographic research. You want challenges for uh, the adversaries or the attackers, which are difficult to solve. And uh, complexity theory is very well suited to find such problems and prove security properties. And why did it actually take about 30 years uh, for zero knowledge proofs, which you described in your presentation, to actually reach consumer electronics and software? Uh, that's a great question. I think that uh, often, uh, in some sense, um, disruptive ideas or ideas that are very different than what other people are doing take a long time to make them into uh, technology. This was even true about public cryptography, even though today everybody uses it. It took them about 15 years or so to get accepted, to get standardized, maybe even more than 15 years. To which extent can new insights gained in cryptographic research not only be used um, in commercial applications, but moreover in order to design legislation which protects the data of the citizen? That's really up to the government. So I think the more governments and uh, public institutions are interested in privacy and realize how important it is, the faster these technologies can make their way into both uh, you know, government and, and public institution uh, usage, but also to the public, because uh, often using these technologies follows legislation.